2009 Nissan Murano uh, alternator removal. According to the Haynes Murano 2010, it says that it's pretty easy to change. I don't know if you can focus that or not. But it says just uh, take the right wheel off and put it in jacks and just remove the axis from the front wheel and remove dry belt and remove the air conditioner without disconnecting it and it says that it's pretty simple remove dry belt disconnect and put it back in we'll see how that works okay I took the wheel off and now I'm supposed to take the cover off and get through this alternator through there. I race the car um, with a couple of jacks and we'll see how bad is it. So I don't see too much just taking that cover off. I can see the separate dim belt and a little bit of the compressor I'm gonna go in and try to take this other this other piece right here looks like it's all the way to the top and we'll see how that looks maybe I'll get to see more all right. I took the other cover off and I can see a little bit more now. Um, if you look in there, you might be able to see the alternator all the way in there. Let's see if I can get some light light in there. And that is the alternator right there. I'm gonna take the pull the belt off and see what I can do. Okay, I dropped the air conditioner um, compressor. I took these two screws. I don't know if you can see the one and the second one. And behind there, there's two more screws that you have to undo on the other side. I'll show you in a minute. See if you can see. Sorry for the glare and the movement. And let's see if we can see this. Um, let me see. Okay, two screws goes. One goes in here, and the other one is right here. So there's two of those. They're pretty long yeah long and then I also and then this little one here that goes in here that hold the holes here and there's another one on the front let's see if I can show you there's another one here that holds those pipe so now I can move this out of the way so I'll see if I can get the alternator that way and it's up there all right thanks. okay I unplugged the air conditioner and a couple of the cables that way I can drop the AC compressor a little more I think now I can I should be able to drop that alternator and pull it out the same way. So I'm gonna give that a try. Um, I think it's only hold with two screws. Uh, we'll, we'll go from there. Okay, I unplugged the air conditioner 
and a couple of the cables that way I can drop the AC compressor a little more I think now I can I should be able to drop that alternator and pull it out the same way so I'm gonna give that a try um, I think it's only hold with two screws uh, we'll, we'll go from there I took the two bolts already that hold this alternator I unplugged the electrical now let's see if it comes out It is walking. There you go. Uh, we'll see how this thing comes on. If it comes out this way, I'm going to do the one hand because the other one is holding the light because it's pretty dark right now. Uh, I don't know which is why it's the thinnest. Well, it's almost out, but it's hitting the top. I don't know if it changes sideways. Make sure you don't damage anything. And let's see if I can push this thing closer. Push it back again. See if I can. Let's see if I can drop this down. Hopefully I don't break any of the AC horses and then I have an AC lick. But looks like it's almost there. To get this one out, I think. Uh, it's just hitting over here. So let me see if I can push this forward. And as you can tell, I am not a mechanic. I'm just a homeowner with a problem car. I can flip it over. Maybe the back side is a little better. And Give you 
this all right. And he came out. Yay. Well, it is possible to do it this way. Let's see if I can get this back again. It came out. It's pretty hard. Um, I was just trying to make sure that it did work this way. I'm going, since I'm over already here, I want to change the water pump. Not a water pump. The, uh, the, uh, thermostat on this car this is a 2009 2009 uh, Morano um, 2009 Morano and it has 230 miles on it with the original belt original everything on it so I'm gonna change the thermostat now that I'm here um if i have to do this again i would really really recommend uh taking out the at least the hoses of the radiator uh, which i'm gonna do next um, but if you don't have to it is possible to take the alternator out without having to take off all the front fan uh, radiator things at least on this 2009 um, I'll post another one another video doing the uh, um, thermostat and I might do a third one while I put everything back uh, but it's the same thing it just goes backwards all right in the process of pushing that alternator out, I just noticed that um, I kind of fray some of these cables here. I'm going to duct tape them and probably put some epoxy or something so it's nice and solid. They didn't break. They just kind of lost the plastic. Um, the one that did break, uh, which I'm going to tell you again, unplug <laughs> the uh, harness. Like I said before, this one could have been prevented if I just didn't done that. And I plug all this wiring harness all the way around because it's still you still need to do that to unplug the alternator from the top. If it doesn't have slack, it will not unhook. Um, so you do need to unplug all this harness. So I don't know. I might have to buy another pigtail or try to fix this one i'm not sure yet uh, but this is what it is thanks